Now, I've studied literally thousands of such synesthetes, but here's something I just learned that really surprised me. I learned that in Thailand, there's an ancient tradition in which each day of the week has a corresponding color rooted in Hindu-based astrology. So, Monday is yellow, Tuesday is pink, Wednesday is green, and so on. Apparently, these colors are tied to planetary deities, like Mars for Tuesday is associated with pink, Mercury for Wednesday is green, and so on. And traditionally, it was believed to bring luck if you wore that color or used that color on the corresponding day. This apparently used to be very common in Thailand to wear the right color every single day. Today, it's a little less common. Now, you can probably guess what I'm wondering about, which is where did this colored weekday idea come from? Well, if you consult any Thai book on this, they'll say it comes from the colors of their deities. But of course, gods don't really exist, and if they did, it's not obvious they would have colors or that anyone would have seen those colors. So my suspicion is that if we really did get to the bottom of this very ancient history, we'd find a very influential synesthete at bottom. Someone who said, well, of course Tuesday is pink and Wednesday is green and so on. And because of some cult of personality, it stuck. And millennia later, kids are still told that this deity is this color, so that day is the color and you should wear that shirt. And so, like all stories with cultural momentum, people accept it. Why? Because everyone else accepts it, and for thousands of years. So there must be something to it. But that something, I suggest, is a single influential synesthete whose quirky neural network determined what everyone wore for hundreds of generations. So if you ever think neuroscience doesn't affect culture, take that.